So I wanted to do a um, vlog on Nauru um, and what my perspective of it is, uh, you know, it's been eight years since I've been there in and out um, doing FIFA work fly in fly out and from what I've seen from, um, you know, all those years ago, eight years ago to where it is now, I think it's changed, um, I think it's changed a lot. Uh, the people are still the same, um, obviously, you know, friendly, uh, love the people. Um, and, you know, over the years they've had a lot of um, misrepresentation in terms of the media and how the media uh, portrayed uh, local denaros as all these negative, nasty things um, due to uh, our refugees and that being on island. But overall, for me, I think it's a amazing little country, little nation. I think the people are amazing, the ones that I've... Um, that I've come close to, uh, even the ones that I work with at the moment, you know, there's so much potential in Nauru, but they don't have the facilities. Like, say, for instance, they've got all these great powerlifters uh, who have come away with gold medals in almost every single um, Commonwealth or um, you know big events that they that they go to, and they seem to come away with a lot of gold, um, very little silver and very little bronze um, so a lot of it is gold and then you've got the singers and the singers uh, you know they're, they're, they're pretty good I mean we had what lucky in the top 20 uh, sorry yeah lucky in the top 24 of the karaoke world championships um, and, and you've got the the people who play darts you, you know there's all these different sort of talents on the island uh, and, and unfortunately they don't have the facility to harness all of these different um, gifts that the people have uh, so if you're watching this vlog and you want to sponsor some of our gold medalists over in Nauru by all means you know DM me and I'll and I'll be able to you know hook you up with the one guy who's won um, gold medal for the last five years and he's just and yet when you see him he's he just has a normal job like um, uh, he works for freight at the uh, Nauru at Nauru Airlines and then you've got someone who does um, judo and he got the bronze medal and you know with this COVID and him not being able to go to Japan to train I just feel man there's so much potential in, in Nauru you know I started the karaoke world championship um, you know applied for the license for that and when Lucky got the top 24 uh, a lot of the people over over on the other side of the world like Finland and um, Angola and you know all these other countries Russia and that and they didn't even know where Nauru was until we entered the uh, karaoke world championships so you know Nauru is not limited to, to to just Nauru it's about us or those who are passionate about Nauru trying to look outside of the outside of the country also you know known as uh, thinking outside the box so there's all this these all these great uh, talented people on Nauru um, in terms of the infrastructure it's come a long way you know the Ron Hospital um, some of the homes that are being built there at the moment absolutely um, has changed the has changed Nauru from from you know eight years ago when I when I was la when I was first first here sorry uh, and then you know seeing that's really really encouraging um, you know the blue light program that we started in Nauru which is targeting young people uh, you know the under 15s or the under 17s um, creating a program for them on a Friday or Saturday night uh, where we where we partnership up with the Nauru police force and also child protection um, the community liaison officers uh, youth Affairs, National Youth Affairs um, and also part of the community so there's all these things that we can do on island uh, that's going to benefit our, our Denaro young people but also we want to also you know recognize a lot of our Denaros who have been amazing amazing um, representatives to their country when it comes to when it comes to sports so there's all these amazing things um, in Nauru you know, don't believe all of the, the hype that comes out of the media um, because, you know, a lot of the media, that's that's what they do. They, they hype things up and say, you know, that Nauru is this and that, and but they really aren't. It's, it's a beautiful little country, and if you want to come and see it, come and see it, man. My goodness, you know, wait until this COVID thing 
is over and then book your book yourself a flight to come over to Nauru because I tell you it's it's hot but you know islanders love uh, love the heat um, and you know there's fishing and naughty bird catching and oh there's 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 some things you can do it's just a matter of um hooking up with Nauru tourism um, or even just your locals who are there and I'll take you to some of the, the, the places that um, that was around in World War II uh, the bomber track uh, there's this sort of old prison in uh, Bora uh, there's the there's the frigate birds there's the naughty birds there's so many things you can do um, and I'm still discovering it and I've been in and out for eight years so I just wanted to share with you you know this tiny little vlog in terms of Nauru, um, I've written two songs uh, for Nauru, In Love With Nauru, and uh, another one called Nauru Anami Seiyu, uh, which Anami Seiyu just means I miss you in Nauru. And so, yeah, I've fallen in love with Nauru, I'm, and I'm not even Nauru, I'm actually Samoan, a New Zealand-born, Australian-raised Samoan. But when I got to Nauru, absolutely beautiful. Um, and it was no different from when I was in Papua New Guinea on Manus, and I would go out to the villages, you know, to explore, to see the people, to be with the people, um, and because that's the thing. That's the thing that I love. I just love being around uh, different cultures and and um, you know their their way of life. So it's pretty pretty amazing stuff um, from Manus to Nauru. Uh, but you, you most definitely need to come and visit uh, Nauru when you get a chance when all this COVID stuff is over. But yeah, absolutely love Nauru. I love the people uh, and the culture, and you know, being there and and able to pass on your skills or your gifts to other people so that they can be motivated to you know pass it on to their to their kids. So that's a little bit about Nauru, and I hope um, you know this sort of sheds a light on Nauru and its people. But yeah, I'm still in love with Nauru. Woo! So DM me if you need any sort of narrative around um, other topics in Nauru. Um, you know, obviously I can't get into the refugee topics because that's quite sensitive. Um, but yeah, d uh, DM me and, I, and I'm happy to uh, talk to anybody about um, Nauru. So we are all PI people. Um, Nauru Micronesian, I'm Polynesian, but you know, I remember when I first went there and uh, they were talking to me in Nauruan and I told them I wasn't Nauruan and then the one guy goes to me, oh, same colour, wrong island, which, which cracked me up and I still use that line um, to this day. So yeah, that's a little bit about Nauru, uh, a little bit about what they do there, you know, a little bit about uh, the sports that they, they absolutely thrive in. Um, and I am looking for sponsors for a lot of those uh, power lifters because I tell you what, to be gold medalists and not be um, sort of recognised like how Arnold Schwarzenegger is recognised and they get sponsors, all of, or all of these other power lifters who have multi-million dollar gyms as opposed to the humble gyms that our locals have. Oh, you know, even Nauru has Nauru has the the strongest man in the world um, by the name of Jess uh, uh, Wepper. So, you know, we've, there's certainly a lot, a lot of potential um, in Nauru and, you know, anyone who would sponsor any of the boys or any of our um, ladies, my goodness, you know, you think that the, the boys are just the lifters, but the ladies are too. Absolutely amazing, strong uh, Pacific women. So if anyone wants to sponsor or you want to find out a little bit more, just um, DM me either on my um, Instagram or my TikTok. Or, or here on my um, YouTube channel. So any one of those um, media platforms, you can DM me to get more information about Nauru or about the people or about, you know, the, the ones that are winning uh, gold medals and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm James Vaele, coming out of the uh, Brisbane isolation. I just wanted to vlog a, a little bit about Nauru. Um, and, you know, maybe, who knows, uh, maybe when I'm back on island, in April, I'll uh, do some more vlogging, you know, just to talk about Nauru and about my journey and the amazing things that have been happening on that island. So yeah, direct message me, have an amazing day, night, afternoon, early morning, or you know, whatever time it is that you see this um, vlog, 
So take care, everybody, and as they say in uh, in the ruin, Taurawong, as they say in Samoa, Tofasoi Fua, and as they say here in Australia, you catch up later, eh? All right. So I'm James. Peace. Nah, Woo!